What's up, everybody? Doing a little guitar lesson today. Um, this song is Burning Bridges off Slaughter's Stick It To You album, their debut. It's about Vinnie Vincent, uh, allegedly. But anyway, the first thing you want to do is tune your guitar down a whole step so it sounds like this when you play an E chord. So I'm going to play through the riffs and then I'll play them slow so you, uh, use your ear because it kind of looks like a jumbled mess with my fingers. So use your ear and uh, it goes a little something like this. chords is based around is A, G, and D. So, first part to an A chord. And then the second part is so that's a fourth fourth fret A string kind of bend up a little bit. And then you're going to hit that G string open. So, to a D chord. And then to a Okay, after that it goes into the verse, which is pretty much, it's also the chorus, which is kind of weird, but uh, that riff is just an A, D, G, D, with a little feel, so it goes like this. first part of the first verse so it's so that's the the first feel on the E string so again so that part is so just a G and then a D add your thumb on the second fret pretty simple so um, after that That's the, if I know in, it's the bridge part, so it's, like, it's actually, it's a bend, so it's like, so it's like, then it goes back to verse riff, which is the first chorus, so. Again, that's... Same thing with the G to the D with your thumb on the second fret. So 
so that part after the the chorus, which is the verse riff, so. <laughs> goes up to B, so I'll play the whole thing and then play it side by side. Then it 
just the weird finger picking thing. Uh, I haven't perfected this part, but I know what he's playing. It's something to the effect of this. <laughs> like a A right here and keep your finger right here on the G string behind your ring finger so it's and then you're gonna bar all three you will but that's pretty much the extent of the whole song so just a playthrough of all the riffs here we go <laughs> Figure it out for yourself and play along with the song again. It's a, a step down. So, uh, excellent song and not a guitar solo, interesting enough. One of the few songs from that time period. And it was written about a guy who liked to take a lot of guitar solos. The irony is not lost on me. Anyway, 
Today's song recommendation comes off Kicks, this album right here, the Cool Kids album. Um, check out the song For Shame. It's an acoustic number. It's a good little ditty. It's worth a listen. Anyways, later fools.